G'day guys, my name is Jared and today I'm reviewing the Dometic Stradbroke 4 TC Air Inflatable Tent. It is this beast in front of me. It is perfect for car camping with your family. You can fit four people inside this huge, comfortable, inflatable tent designed for Australian conditions. We've just got this in the mail and I'm gonna unpack it, set it up and do a good solid review for you guys to see if this tent lives up to the hype that it's getting online right now. As you can see, the tent comes in a pretty large setup like this in its own bag. It's not the kind of thing that you can carry around with you. You really do need to have it in the back of a car, a four wheel drive or a van when you're traveling around, but it's a small compromise to have when you have a four person huge setup like this with two rooms. So as you can see, it comes in this big carry bag here. Now the 4TC Air stands for four person. TC is the Weather Shield Technical Cotton, which is the material that the tent is made out of. It's designed for Australian conditions and the heat and with the bugs and the heavy rain that we can get when you're out in the bush and the air because it's the inflatable tent. So I'm gonna open up now and show you what's inside the bag. Now this is my first time setting it up. So you guys are gonna be here with me in real time to see if it's actually as simple as the instructions make it out to be. So once you open it up, you have the big canvas tent here. Throw that away. And it's got these loops around it, which are just tied up down here with the instruction manual, which is well worth reading before you uh, get stuck into a review video. First thing you wanna do is find a nice, clear, flat bit of ground to set your tent up. Make sure it's clear of any sticks and rocks and anything sharp like that. This is a site we've prepared earlier, so it's already nice and clear. Just gonna unroll it, see what I find on the inside. There we go, this is it. This is the footprint which goes underneath the tent, which is well worth using. Inside here, we've got all of our pegs. And this is the hand pump that comes with the tent. So Dometic include a hand pump, so you can pump up the inflatable parts of the tent. So the, uh, the foot pump comes with a pressure gauge mounted on it, so that tells me that they want you to pump it up to a certain uh, certain PSI, so I've consulted the instruction manual. Seven to eight PSI. Okay. You've got to pump it up to seven to eight PSI. So a bit of a tip for you guys, if you're going to be setting up a tent like this, if it's a really windy day, it's going to turn into a giant sail. So what you do, grab your pegs and just peg down the corners. You can even just tack them down to make sure that it's not going to blow away. And by the looks of it, the Dometic tent comes with hundreds of tent pegs here, which is awesome. And a repair kit, which is cool, and uh, some guy rope. So, go peg down the corners now and we'll start pumping. Now I'm going to open up the front door of the awning to let some air flow through there. And then you unscrew the front valve. So you start from the front and work your way back. After all that, it was already open. So you've got two valves at the end of the pump here. You pick the right one. It clips into this point here. Away we go. Okay, you ready to set a timer? Yep, do it. And go. finished pumping it up now that took just over seven minutes now that was seven minutes of us kind of not knowing what we're doing where to pump it up where to plug it in and also filming as well so realistically if you think about it seven minutes to pump this up is pretty damn quick now if you knew what you were doing you had done this a few times you could easily get that under five the last thing you would do is then run around peg down all the sides all the guy ropes and make sure it's nice and sturdy now this is another reason why you don't peg it down to start with. 
fully is if now that you've got it pumped up, you see how big it actually is. If you realize it's not quite in the right position, by only having a couple of pegs in there, you can quickly just pump, pull them out and then drag it around a bit, get it properly in position before you peg it. But now that it's up, let's go for a little bit of a tour on the inside of the tent, see what it looks like in there. So this is it. Now I'm not a huge guy, I'm like five foot 10 or 172-ish centimeters, but if you come on in, you can see how much room. So as you can see here, these are the air poles that we've just pumped up. 7 to 8 PSI, they're rock solid. So it forms the internal frame for this and uh, a bit of the rain cover, the weather shield, technical cotton that you have on the outside, which keeps everything off your fly screens and all that on the inside too. So it just creates that little bit of air around the inside of the tent of what you're gonna be sleeping inside. Keeps it a little bit cooler and it's just huge. And it feels, it's not going anywhere. So obviously this is one room, you could use this as a games room, dining room, stick the kids there if you want to. It looks like there's a bunch of pockets here as well, great for storage, you can put your shoes there or card games or whatever, empty bottle caps, anything you've got laying around. So now that I've come inside you can see that it's actually one small room here and it's got another one of the same size on the other side of this privacy screen. But if you undo that, it separates into one big room. So this is actually perfect if you're camping with friends or if you don't want to have two people who you know, prefer a little bit more privacy. You can have one person in here, one person in there, and then you are completely separated. Or if you're a couple, rip this down and you've got one huge bedroom. And then back there, you can have the kids, the dogs, whatever you want, or if it's really bad weather, you can be set out there like a living room, a games room, and then have in here for sleeping. So now that I've opened this, you could easily fit a queen size air mattress right in here and still have tons of space around the outside so you can get out, out of bed, get changed, do whatever you have to do without disturbing the other person. It is very, very roomy in here. Where we are right now, it is pretty hot. The middle of the day, it's about 27, 28 degrees the sun's just beaming on this tent but it's actually kind of cool in here now this extra weather shield part that comes around the outside of the tent is keeping a lot of that direct sunlight off from in here but you can also open up the windows on the other side on the outside of this tent and get some air breeze flowing through the other entrance so that's how you can keep two people separate or if you're fighting with your missus and you don't want to you know have to crash in the same room as her stick her in there and then you get one room for yourself You can also open these fly screens up so you have access from both sides. You can get in and out from any direction you want. So three access points on this big tent. Now that we've done the air poles, we've got it all set up. We've had a little bit of a tour on the inside. We're gonna go around, peg down all the guy ropes and make sure it's nice and secure. So if the wind does pick up, then it's not gonna go anywhere. And then once I've got it all pegged down, I'm gonna see exactly how sturdy this thing really is. So all the guy ropes have got these little loops on them. So you can pull it tight here. Bang it down. And it's just a little pull strap. Get it nice and tight. Little latch there to keep your strap from flapping in the wind. If you can imagine a really windy day. <laughs> it feels... I don't think you're gonna be in weather like that. No, it feels pretty sturdy though. Gotta to admit, pretty impressed with it. I've gone around and I've pegged the tent down now, hit all the guy ropes, Jet helped me, lucky he did, because I have to admit there was quite a few guy ropes there that had to be pegged down and fully tied up. It took me a little bit longer than I expected, but now that it's all done, I've actually opened up all the air vents as well, so you don't have to go to the extremes that I did of getting every single one open and pegged, but for the sake of the video, I thought I would, because it's something if you're gonna be hanging out for more than a day or two, if you're gonna be set up somewhere, a bit of a base camp for like four or five days, a week something like that you're definitely going to want to take the time to go through and peg everything down so that's what I've done it maybe took me about 20 minutes but it's well worth doing and now that it's up it's quite sturdy the wind is picking up right now and there is no movement at all in this tent isn't that right Jack? hey isn't that right isn't that right <laughs> 
That's it for my review of the Dometic Stradbroke 4 TC Air Tent. I have to say, I was a little bit dubious when I read that it was an inflatable tent. I don't know why, but I had visions of it just being this gigantic kind of kite or, or sail or something like that that would just get blown away. But now that we've actually got it here, we've set it up using the air poles and even just the foot pump that came with the tent. We got it up in about seven minutes for our first time, I have to say, that's pretty good. And once you've done it a few times and we're gonna keep using this and really put it to the test, I'm sure we'll be able to get under that five minute mark to get it from completely set down to completely set up. So I'm really excited about that. If I have to give my honest opinion about who I think this tent is for, I don't think is for a couple traveling around in a four wheel drive or a van or something like that full time. I think it's pretty much overkill for just two people. However, if you're a group of friends or if you're in a family and you're traveling around and you're the kind of person who's gonna go somewhere, set up a camp, whether it's in a caravan park or a campground or maybe even a music festival, having this is pretty remarkable. It's fairly quick and easy to set up. It comes in a nice, cool carry bag. It is heavy, but if you're throwing it in the back of the car, it's not an issue or up on the roof racks. And then once you're there and you're set up, you've got this amazing base camp where you can leave this, you can go out exploring, you can go and party and do whatever you want if you're at a music festival. Come back and you've got your home, the Taj Mahal almost, set up, good to go. You've got your bedrooms there, you've got your separate games room, your socializing room, you've got the awning. If there's wet weather around, it's not gonna be an issue. So if you're a group or a family, this is the one for you. As for a rating, I'm gonna give it eight and a half stars or eight and a half pegs out of 10. It is big, it is heavy. That's probably the only thing that I'm gonna deduct a couple of points from and also how many guy ropes. But again, you don't have to set every single one up. I just went overkill and did each one that was on there just to see what it was like. Overall value for money, this thing is well worth getting. And now for the worst part of any camping trip, packing it away. If you like the video, don't forget to leave a comment and a thumbs up below and hit that subscribe button while we keep bringing out gear reviews, adventures and all kinds of different things from our travels around the world. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you on the next adventure.